What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Now, we may not be the best, and every play won't be perfect, but I guarantee you we'll have a good time. Smash that like button for us if you're hyped, and I hope you enjoy. What's good, YouTube? Everyone on YouTube here, back again once again. And people say we're here for our week five battle of our United Championship League UCL Off-Season League. And of course, I am your coach, I'm the motherfucking two sides of Racky Yon's nigga. And I am so hyped and so happy to be here because we're going up against our good friend, the Heated Mo, coach of the Toronto Togekiss. He's probably not even paying attention to DS right now. I'm gonna send a message that says, A, B, battle. Negro battle Pierce we can't say he just canceled it. All right. Good job. Good. Good job Mo Good job Mo. Anyways, you guys if you guys are hyped for this week's battle And of course we are proud member of the Tucson Terrakia if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation and supporting the Tucson Terrakions Make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated See that's what happens when you think about what you're gonna say before you say it that's that's what that's what ends up happening but we're gonna go ahead and resend mo the invite he just sent me a message that says don't six o me i ask i ask my opponents every week i'm gonna say i'm gonna say okay just promise me you'll let me kill one that's all that's all. I just don't want to be 6 0 either. I just want to kill one. I just want to kill one. Anyways, you guys, we're using the same team that we used a couple weeks back when we battled Mo the first time because, I mean, I don't know. Like, last week when we took on Jay for the second time, we swapped one Mon out. He swapped two Mons out. So I guess you can kind of, like, rebuild based upon what happened because maybe your, your plan A wasn't the best plan to begin with. But I think when it comes to Mo's team, uh, really, we have the best plan possible. We're gonna go ahead and load up Music 23. I did make one modification. There was someone uh, that left a comment saying that we should replace Signal Beam on Porygon with Shadow Ball. So I went ahead and put that on there real quick. I don't know how I really feel about it. It might be a little bit better, but shout out to you if that was you. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and load up our Music 23 and get into this one right here. <laughs> Let us see what we can do. Uh, Moe's Abra and Snorlax, of course, are the biggest threats and the biggest problems. I was thinking about it just now. I was like, our Honej is a really big threat for his team. Um, so if, if we can possibly, it depends on who he brings, I might try and lead with him and just set up and then try and do as much damage as I possibly can. I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening. Um, and fun fact, I also did not know that Sacred Sword actually goes through um, stat changes. I learned that in the last battle. I was, so I was trying to figure out how come the uh, Hone Edge Sacred Sword didn't matter how much how, or how many uh, curses the Munchlax set up. It was because Sacred Sword goes through and I never knew that. I, I never knew that. I don't use Sacred Sword enough to ever actually know that. So it was an interesting tidbit that I learned. I don't think I'll ever forget. I don't think I'll ever forget. I'll be 89 years old sitting in my rocking chair on the front porch sipping moonshine out of a goddamn mason jar telling my great 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 grandkids about how back in the day we used to play this newfangled game named Pokemon and how this move Sacred Sword ignores stat change <laughs> by then Pokemon will be on the 22nd generation <laughs> Pokedex will be in the 10,000s it will be Charizard and Charizard I'm the best Pokemon of all 10,000 it's me Charizard anyways Mo can you hurry up can you hurry up like right now Mo I got some Naruto to go watch. Sorry, bro. I got some Naruto to watch. I know I'm behind. I know I'm behind. I didn't grow up watching anime. Well, I watched Ghost and Shell here and there, but I didn't grow up with all that, so I'm behind. And I'm in good part on Shippuden right now. All right, so let's check. He brought the Togepi this time, which I know he didn't bring last time, but he's rocking his Abra, the Electrike, the Togepi, the Skrelp, the Duskull, and the Munchlax. I have this this itching, this this suspicion that Mo went and team built with Nexus for me this week because I told him I was gonna bring the exact same team, but it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. Uh, but on our squad, we have Bond the Hone Edge, Caps Lock the Porygon, Cindy the Shellos, Bully the Dano, Kavatica our Spinarak, and then Yogurt our Mime Jr. Now, one good thing about Mo's team now is he has no way to remove hazards. He didn't bring his hoodoo. So I'm gonna lead with our Focus Sash, Kavatica, turn one. I don't care who he wants to lead with. I mean, unless he tries to set up Toxic Spikes with Skrelp. I mean, that would be the only other problem that I could see him setting up Spikes with the Skrelp. That might be a problem. 
because we don't have any way to get rid of Hazard ourselves, ourselves, ourself. But one of our checks to his Abra is, and his Munchlax, is Bond, which we don't have to worry about Toxic Spikes with that. So I'm going to leave with Kavatica because why not? Why not? I had the option of leading with Bond as well, but if he ends up leading with the Electric again, I don't want Bond paralyzed. But if he wants to paralyze Kavatica, then fine, paralyze Kavatica. But if he has no Hoodoo, we are greenlit to go ahead and bust out them webs. So he led with Scrub. Is he gonna set up Toxic Spike? Oh no, it's not Scrub. I forgot Mo does that. Alright, so Electric, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and jot down his team over here as well. On my separate sheet of paper so I can jot down moves and everything. Togepi, Skrelp, Duskull, and then Munchlax. Now, when I did, uh, I did a little bit of team building with Nexus. Um, it's it, he, we were saying that it would be pointless for him to bring the Togepi because of a Hone Edge. So it's kind of interesting that he chose to bring it. Kind of interesting. Um, I feel like he's going to Thunder Wave me. I feel like he's gonna Thunder Wave me. But I'm gonna set up a Sticky Web and then proceed to set up my Toxic Spikes, or at least try to. So we just have to knock on wood and hope and pray that if he does Thunder Wave us, it doesn't end up costing us. I ne I, I never, I, I've said this a million times, but I, I don't think that Thunder Wave should have a chance to paralyze turn one. Like, the turn you get paralyzed. I think, I don't think it should, I, I, don't, I don't know, I guess that kind of, I guess when you think about it, it makes sense to be able to be paralyzed because like it is under wave juice so from there on out you should be able to be paralyzed but if you already selected a move and everything like that that's just kind of inconvenient i guess is the word i'm looking for <laughs> it's fair it's just inconvenient but either way i don't know what mo's gonna go for he doesn't have i'm trying to think like after two weeks ago with joey and magic coat i'm just sitting here like counting all the different things that could screw me up with the sticky waves right now Mm, 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 mm. What if I were to hard switch out to Porygon? Okay, so that's gonna break the sash. That's fine. What if I hard switch out to Porygon, traced Lightning Rod, and then fucked over his, uh, Manectric there, or his Manectric, his Electric. Alright, so we got Bolt Switch. I didn't get a chance to see if he was Life Orb or not. But we're gonna get our webs up. The question is, who's he gonna go out to now? I think he's gonna go out to Abra. I think he's gonna go out to Abra. Is this actually your Abra? Or the Munchlax? That's fine. I feel like Moe's gonna change his moveset though. I feel like he might. Uh, he's gonna try and set up Curse right now. But I feel like he might. Keyword here is might carry Earthquake or Crunch on his. Whatchamacallit now? Specifically for. Um the Hone Edge, so I'm thinking that I might want to hard switch to Hone Edge right now. I really, 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 really want to... Let me see, let me see how many hits can I take. Let me see how many hits can I take with Hone Edge, like once he begins to set up. I want to see. Before anything else, I want to see. Before I make my decision. Okay. So with the Hone Edge that we have, if he is at, let's say he carries Crunch. I know Mo likes to carry Recycle as well. Let's say he carries Earthquake. If he's at plus one, uh, 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 it's looking kind of scary. Okay, so I don't know if I necessarily want to. Go out to. I think I need to go out to Hone Edge right now. I think I need to go out to Hone Edge right now. I'm checking the clock as well. I need to go out to Hone Edge right now. I'm gonna do it. Might not be the smartest move, but I would rather. I don't know. I just don't want to let Mo just set up freely like that. And if he wants to EQ, if he wants to crunch right now, then fine. He predicted me. But I, I don't want. To, yeah. I don't want to go for Toxic Spikes, predicting everything else on his team, and then he just sets up with a Munchlax and sweeps me completely. So at plus one, I can live any one hit from him unless he crits. If he crits, then I am screwed. <laughs> Essentially, if he crits, then I am screwed. 
Uh, I'm gonna click Sh Sacred Sword because again, we're in the same position that we were in last time when Mo and oh, and the the, 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 the when the Munchlax and the Honej were one v one. If he wants to go out to the Dust Skull, fine. Sacred Sword doesn't do anything. Then we're back to square one. Sacred Sword, I mean, uh, Honej versus Dust Skull. He'll probably Will O Wisp because with Snow Guard. Uh, but if I go for a, a Ghost type move and he stays in, then I'm screwed. So Sacred Sword is the safer play at this point. I don't think he's going to stay in, though, because that is a guaranteed, like, 75% down the drain. I don't think he's going to stay in, though. Because Mo can't risk the, uh, much like said that. I mean, maybe he could, if he's carrying Berry Juice. Maybe he could. He might be Berry Juice Recycle. I don't remember what he was last time. So we'll see. But I still think, especially with everything else on his team, if his Abra happens to be Sash, then Sacred Sword at least breaks the Sash. And then a Shadow Sneak might kill from there on out. Anything else wants to take damage. Of course, Togepi resists. Skrelp resists. Duskull, it's completely uh, immune. But still, I'd rather put and keep pressure on this Munchlax and let him just feel free to set up left and right. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Fire Punch, Earthquake. So he's going to stay in. So that's a guaranteed 80%. So I'm happy with that. Even if he Oko's me right now. So he is berry juice. He fire punched me. If he burns. Okay, we're good. We are good. Again, I'm in the same situation. I'm free to Sacred Sword. I am free to Sacred Sword. Now, whether or not Mo would have rest is an entirely different story. Would Mo run rest without a way to wake up? Let me jot down Curse and, uh, he already uses Berry Juice too, Curse and Fire Punch. I can imagine he's got to be carrying Body Slam, perhaps. So his Berry Juice is gone. Obviously, I'm not going to live the next hit from him. And Bond is one surefire way to get damage off from the Abra, but at the same time, if Bond has to go down helping to take out the Munchlax, then I am... All for that. So let's see here. Will he leave his little Munchlax in here again to take this damage? Because we outspeed the Munchlax. So even if he wants to take it out and we have to swap Bon out, only thing that would suck right now is if his Electrike is static and he goes out to the Electrike. Okay. That's fine. Because at least I got that damage off on the Munchlax. I'm fine with that, because at least I got the crit. The crit mattered! The crit clearly fucking mattered! Alright, that's fine. At least I got the damage off on the Munchlax. I think at this point... Um, let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, let me see here. I kind of want to... I'm trying to think what would be better. Who would be better to go out to? Uh, 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 uh. I think I might want to go out to Caps Lock. And click Shadow Ball. I'm going to go out to... Because I was trying to think who should I go out to. I should either go out to Cindy or Caps Lock. One of the two. I think I want to go out to Caps Lock and click Shadow Ball. Ooh, and don't mind if I do take that tip fat, because I'm thinking, if Mo decides he does want to try and save this for whatever reason, um, and to go out to the Duskull again, Shadow Ball would do damage to that. So I'm gonna click Shadow- WAIT! 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 I just messed up! I just clicked Shadow Ball on the Munchlax! I just got everything mixed up! I just got everything mixed up. I was sitting there thinking... I was sitting there thinking, I don't want to try attack because of the Dusk All, so I'll click Shadow Ball. But Mo's not going to swap this out. If Mo swaps this out, that'll be the biggest saving grace ever. But if he stays in, we're taking damage for no reason. We're taking damage for no reason. And at plus one, Body Slam does 70%. Fire Punch does... 38, Earthquake has a max to do 50. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. That is why I stop and take so much time when I choose my moves. Because I will fuck up and speed through something and do something like that. Right there. Right there. I deserve to get paralyzed for that. I didn't get paralyzed. Okay. Um. Alright, so the only option I have is to click try attack. I mean, I could try and over predict again. Which. I wouldn't say I was trying to over predict just now. I got my two lines of thought mixed up, crossed. Anyways, I think the smartest thing for me to do at this point is to click try attack, which is what I meant to do last time. Is to click try attack. I meant to say if he does bring out the whatchamacallit, the dust call, then I can shadow ball. And I just revealed I have shadow ball for no fucking reason, so. What the fucking do, Nappy? Great job! Pat on the fucking back for you, dumbass! Uh, I'm just gonna click try attack because we outspeed and we can kill him. Um, and if he wants to swap, he won't swap knowing that I have shadow ball now. Um, I just don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to recover. That's the biggest problem. But this thing should be gone now. Which is what I meant to do last time. I did not mean to click Shadow Ball. That was me moving way too fast. I'm gonna slow everything down again and just do my normal pace, my normal speed. It might take me 60 minutes to get through an LC match, but you know what? I will make sure I make the best plays possible, goddammit, and not fuck up like that. Well, that was unnecessary damage. That's the biggest thing that aggravates me. That was unnecessary damage. Okay, so looking at his team, I can see him going out to the Electric or the Abra at this point. So I don't think he's gonna go out to the Duskull, because he doesn't outspeed me. Can the Abra even kill? I feel like, yeah, I feel like for sure the Abra can fucking kill. This is the Abra. Okay, so now when I think about his team, I need to keep Porygon alive because Porygon will... I feel like he won't click... No, all he has to do is click HP Fighting. If he carries HP Fighting, it can Oko the Dano and it can Oko the Porygon. My question is, does Fake Out work? Does Fake Out work? Like, if I were to switch in Mime Jr. right now to take either the Dazzling Gleam, the Psy Shock, or Psy Kick, or the HP Fight, does that count as my first turn on the field? If the target does not use an increased party move during the round, it's just. Uh... Hold on, I'm trying to double check. Although fake outs actually use 100%, it will not, it will fail if not used on the first turn the user is out. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go out to... I feel like he's gonna click HP fight. I'm just gonna click Shadow Ball. I'd rather it be safe. He's gonna click Knock Off. I should have recovered. Fuck this silly shit. I should have goddamn recovered. I should have recovered. Then he wouldn't have been able to one shot me with anything. I should have recovered. I was not expecting knockoff. I want to see because the sash didn't pop. I feel like he's going to be scarfed like he was last time. But this is fine because I can go out to which McCoy. Yeah, it makes no sense. The min damage for Shadow Ball from a Porygon to an Abra is 105%. That's if he's timid. If he is a special defensive nature, then it's 94%. What? I'm just gonna Shadow Ball again at this point. And we can determine what HP this is. Is it super effective? HP fight. Okay, so it sucks because two of our very important team members are now down and out. 
but I, I I just don't know about fake out like that. I just don't know about fake out like that. I'll have to check after the battle. All right, so now we're here. I'm gonna click fake out because no matter what, that's the smart play to go for. Unless he goes out to the dusk hall, that would be the only problem. But at this point with Abra, I mean I don't know. He had scarfed Abra last time, so he might try and keep it around. I'm just gonna click fake out. If he goes out to the dusk hall, then he goes out to the dusk hall. I've been stressing and worrying about this dusk hall the whole time, and he hasn't gone out to it yet. So. We killed the Munchlax, so it's not a 6 0, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Let's see here. Fake out. Bop! Goodbye, Abra. Alright, so Abra's down and out. So the two biggest threats on his team, on paper, are gone. I feel like he's gonna go out to his Electric, because I think his Electric is Scarfed. Because it's lead Electric. And even though uh, Electric types are fast. Scarfing a fast mod ensures you outspeed other Scarfers. So I think he might be Scarfed. I know we can eat up any one hit from the Electric, though. I feel like he might try to... Thunder Wave me, though. Out comes the Togepi. Surprisingly enough. I think he might have brought the Togepi because of the Dano. Because it stops Outrage. So let me see here. Let me check out Togepi. I need to be I need to be weary of baton pass. I need to be weary of baton pass. <clears throat> baton pass wish. Okay, so only problem here is that I kind of want to click Thunder Wave just for GP. Not because we need to slow it down, but just because I want to try and play for hacks. Um, Psychic does 50%, or more correctly, 43%. I'm going to click Thunder Wave, because if he's going to try a Nasty Plot Baton Pass, or any of the other things that Togepi could do, I'd rather paralyze it and be fine with it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And now I can click Psychic. Now I can click Psychic. And start to whittle this thing down. It's a three hit KO unless we crit. So I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. And if he gets paralyzed again, then that's even better. So I don't think this Togebi can do anything that can one shot me. And the special defense drop. Mo! Mo! I feel so bad! Psychic kills now. From this range, Psychic kills at minus one special defense. Psychic kills. Oh, it feels so bad. I mean, oh, it didn't kill. It didn't kill. At minus one special defense. And let's see. And well, this is a bold Togepi. And let's see, especially defense is Togepi. Minus one special defense. It should do 56%. He was below 56%. Then again, maybe he wasn't. Because max Psychic did was 43%. So maybe he wasn't. Had a chance to live. I'm just gonna click Psychic again because we outspeed. So goodbye, Togepi. I feel so so bad. I feel I feel bad in the sense of like I've been on that side of the of the of the field before. Where you get paralyzed and you just can't break through. But at the same time, it's like that's the whole point in using Thunder Wave. So I'm sorry, Mo. I'm sorry, Mo. I feel so bad because I fucked up with Shadow Ball and I paralyzed him twice. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so all he has left is Electrike, Skrelp, and Duskull. Duskull can still be a problem for us with Shadow Sneak. Electrike, I just wish Cindy was part ground. That's all I really wish, that Cindy was part ground. I think he has to go out to the Electrike. I want a damage count on the Electrike. There is no set for Electrite. There is no set for Electrite. I'm gonna see, how much does the Volt Switch do? Okay, that's a level 100. That's a level 100. Volt Switch does almost half. We're carrying Berry Juice as well. If he is Scarfed, can he one-shot with Thunderbolt? Here comes the Skrelp. Why did he go out to Skrelp?
Scrope is water poison, right? It's poison water. Um, I can't think of what he would do. I don't think Scrope gets Sucker Punch. Unless he's just going to try and Aqua Jet me. I'm going to click Psychic. There's no reason for me to do anything else. Sludge weight. Oh, well, I guess if he calc that's going to destroy me. Because I know Mo's choice specs. I know he specs into Sludge Wave. He's got to be. I should have calc that to see if it would kill. Um, if he is specs, it's a good thing I didn't set up my Toxic Spike yet because that would have been a poison type that could have cleared him. If he is specs, I'm going to send this out and click Sucker Punch. Because if he specs then there's nothing you can do. I'm going to click Sucker Punch. If he swaps, then he knows I have Sucker Punch. But if he stays in, being Spexed, which I feel like Mo might do with the HP that it's at. He knows I'm Sucker Punch! That's fine. That's fine, because I want to double check and see. I want to double check and see. Mo might remember that I told him I had Sucker Punch. Let me see here. We actually outspeed this thing. So I'm thinking I want to go for a Poison Jab and try and poison it. I'm gonna Poison Jab. Ah! Well, with just three mons left, with Skrull being one of them, there's no point in me trying to go for Toxic Spikes at this point. Um, unless his little thing here, Duskall, has... Whatchamacallit. I wanna, I wanna damage Calc real quick. Yo, Crunch doesn't even one-shot a Duskull. I need to do more damage to this Duskull. I'm gonna stay in and Poison Jab again. Because I feel like he's not gonna go for an offensive move. Substitute. Oh, that's a problem! That's a problem. Especially at this point. Especially with our attack down. Uh, It's fine, though. It's fine, though. I'm gonna do what I can to try and break the sub, because if anything, I'm happy that he... Because he's not gonna go for anything that Sucker Punch could try and do. How much how much health do we just have? I think I can live one more. I'm gonna Poison Jab, and just try and whip down the sub, because with this Substitute, I'm guaranteed to kill with Crunch or Outrage. I can click either one. Actually, I don't know if I'm guaranteed to kill with Outrage. Especially because Ghost Resist Burn. I mean, Ghost Resist Bug. I mean, not, what am I talking about? There I go getting my thought process mixed up again. I'm gonna Poison Jab again. I'm burned, so it's doing even less damage, but at least I can try and break this up. Okay, so he's just waiting me out. Alright, so let me jot this down. I'm guessing he's Eviolite. will o Substitute. Um, what I'm gonna do is go out to Cindy because with Cindy I can hit him on the special side and that saves Dano because Dano can actually win with a sweep. Uh, my question is do I outspeed? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I outspeed. I'm gonna click Scald, which should break this up. And if he wants to pain split, let him pain split. I feel like he's gonna will o -Wisp. I feel like he's got a will o wisp It would've been nice if he could've missed right there. But I can't complain about hacks. Not at this point in the battle. Um, when it comes to his other mons, he can stay in if he wants. I'm gonna Scald again. Because if I can burn him, that'd be nice. But if he wants to Pain Split, that's fine as well. 
See, we're back in that dangerous trap where it's like, what do? I feel like all he's gonna do is click pain split from this point on. I'm gonna scald him again. He withdrew! See, if I would've recovered just now, that would've been a free recover. He must want to free switch into the, um, Electrite. Which is fine for me, because I think... I'm not 100% sure. God damn, it didn't even kill. Ah! Oh! And the burn! Oh, I feel so bad again! But I mean, that's why you use Scald over Surf. So... That sucks. That's why you use Scald over Surf, because of the chance to burn. I feel like he has to go out to the, um... Electrite. And just Volt Switch out. Which is fine with me. Uh, I'm gonna click Recover for what it's worth. But it doesn't make a difference, because he's just gonna Volt Switch out and kill me. Okay, so what it comes down to... Is what move do I click? What move do I click with Bully? Because Crunch has such a wide chance. It does 66 to 95%. So I have a chance to KO the Dusk Call. We're outragingly just 57 to 71. I can KO with Crunch here. When it comes to Electrike, anything I touch KOs him. Okay, so I have to lock myself into Crunch. I have to lock myself into Crunch and hope and pray that. I get a high roll. He could Shadow Sneak me if he wants to, but I feel like he's gonna go for another Will-O-Wisp. Because Crunch is the only option I have. Crunch is the only one that has a chance to KO the Duskull now, and KO the Electrike afterwards. Everything KOs the Electrike. Outrage, Superpower, Crunch, well, Zen Headbutt does Zen Headbutt has a chance to do 70-85%. But Crunch can kill from this range. Yes! Let's go! Ah! I mean, I guess the, the good part about having such a, a high range, uh, like between high and low, is that you, that you have a higher chance of getting the high than the low. Well, it's equal, no matter what, so whatever. I don't know what I'm thinking. I want to double check. <laughs> double check that I'm locked into that. Okay, so with the webs up, I think I still outspeed a Scarf Electrike. If not, he'd have to have like HP Fight or something like that, because I can't think of anything else that Electrike would get that could hurt me. Because I resist Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower. Oh my! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on, little Dano. That's what I'm talking about! Paralyze me! Paralyze me! That's my team captain! Whose team captain is this? That's my team captain right there! Little Dano coming through in the clutch again! Ah! He missed, but it's okay, because the Electric has nothing that's super effective against him, so I'm happy about that. We, even though we fucked up with the Shadow Ball play, we fucked up big time. I was, I got my lines of thought crossed and clicked the wrong button. We still were able to battle back. The, the hacks on the Togepi was definitely worth it. Uh, it was definitely worth clicking Thunder Wave Turn 1 as opposed to Psychic, because if he would have Nasty Pod and Baton passed out to the Skrelp, yo, if he would have gone out to the Skrelp, that analy not, uh, analytic, um, 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 uh, adaptability, choice spec, scrub, sludge wave would have o code everything, especially with Bond being gone, so, that's kinda crazy, kinda crazy, so, definitely a good game to Mo, it was very balanced back and forth, um, <laughs> so much fun battling Mo, I don't know why, I just had this image of Mo in my head the whole time, like, what he's thinking and what he's doing, but definitely good game to Mo, make sure you check out his channel and Twitter account, both of which are linked in the description below, but with that, I'm going to get up out. If you guys enjoyed this week's UCO battle, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, or you're supporting the Tucson Terrakions, make sure you click the smash that like button down below for us, because y'all you know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get up out. Thank you all once again for your support. Thank you for checking out the video. Bye!